So at the moment, uh, across the UK, only about 11% of working professional engineers identify as women. So there's a gender imbalance there. So International Women in Engineering Day is a way of addressing that gender diversity. I think people don't expect sometimes you to study engineering. I've had people say, I'd expect you to study history or something like that rather than engineering. And I think the most important thing is to just challenge them and ask why, because I think people only say it because they don't understand what engineering is. These outdated gender stereotypes uh, mean that people assume that um, girls and boys are better suited to different things, which means they're encouraged differently, uh, which means that we end up with a gender imbalance in lots of careers, not just engineering, but also things like nursing and primary school teaching. So I definitely think there's a misconception in terms of what people think engineering is, especially, I mean, I think I had a misconception too. I think a lot of people still see all engineers as laid under a car fixing things, when actually that's really not what it's about. You kind of have an image of engineering when you first introduce, introduce to it, where it's like, it's maths, it's physics, it's going to be a lot of calculations, I'm going to build a bridge, I'm going to build a circuit. Well, at the end of the day, engineering is about solving problems, to make the world a better place, to make people's lives better. What really helps me study engineering is just my sense of curiosity. I always want to know how things work. Um, so even if you're studying something really difficult and there's a lot of maths that you need to get through, um, it feels like there's a reward at the end because you'll have learned how, I don't know, a dialysis machine works or how a bridge stays up need to be able to think creatively, you need to be able to solve problems, you need to be resourceful, you need to work hard and you need to be able to communicate what you're doing and collaborate with other like-minded people and people who think differently from you as well. So they're not any different from lots of other professional occupations. So my hopes for the future are to um, go into machine learning um, this summer I've got an internship in data science and my thesis next year will be on deep learning. So I'm looking at geometric deep learning models um, to um, basically listen to a song and try and identify what genre it is and then maybe take it further and um, build an algorithm that can compose its own music. So yeah, <laughs> yeah it is, it's really cool, yeah. Um, so this year I did a team project which was uh, designing a solar car. So my part was to design the aerodynamics of it, which was really cool and interesting. It does connect so many different subjects. I find myself using biology that I did from GCSE, chemistry that I did at A-level, you use your physics, you, it connects everything and it's not just the image that it gets and I definitely would love like more people to see it the way that I now do. It's really, it's helped me realise um, my intellectual capability because I've never been challenged in such a way before. Whilst there aren't anywhere near as many women in engineering as there are men, the women that I have met have been incredibly interesting, incredibly intelligent and have inspired me a ridiculous amount to follow it. It's actually driven me to want more girls to be engineers because it's something that I've so enjoyed. Uh, I think it's really good to remember that engineering is for everybody and even though people might be surprised that you're doing engineering, I think it's good to keep focused and remember that you can do it and there's lots of support at university and lots of other like-minded people.